praise the Lord. Can you stretch your right hand in my direction and join your faith with mine and say, Lord Jesus, anoint your servant to preach your word with simplicity, with sincerity, with soundness of doctrine. Holy Spirit, circumcise my ears and fertilize my heart that the words I will hear we produce tangible results. I will come back with testimonies and testimonials of these words. Holy Spirit, glorify only the name of Jesus. If you believe God, say amen. Please be seated. I want to thank my brother Easy and the organizers for inviting me to come and speak. This is the second time of coming here. Um, it's indeed very wonderful. I want to thank the artists that have performed and the ones that are going to perform. I mean perform. I'm so glad to see Mercy. My granddaughter dances her music very well. And I must take a photograph with her to show to my family when I get home. I came here with the senior pastor of Christ Church, Fosses Avenue, Port Harcourt here. Reverend Saturday, PhD. Um, his name is Umbete, Saturday Umbete. Please, can you stand up and just wave to the audience? Praise the Lord. I came with Reverend Samson Bodge all the way from Ogeli. Can you raise up your hand, sir? And then Reverend Jackson Dottie is somewhere in the hall. Reverend Jackson from Omoku. Praise God. Next time we are coming here, I think we will come with a bus load of pastors. I want to introduce some books there's a book I used to celebrate my 60th birthday, um, April 27 this year, Refined by Hardship. I borrowed the coat I wore for matriculation, I borrowed the shoe. My father was a refuse collector, but today the story is different. I have a son who is a surgeon in Europe, he's an orthopedic surgeon. I have a daughter who is a master's degree holder. I have a third child who became a millionaire in my house at 22. He's doing PhD strategy. He's doing PhD software engineering in Europe. And then my last child, 23, he just finished master's in strategic marketing. This was a man who couldn't buy pen to write final year exams. So the books are there. The oil of marriage. If you marry, you never read oil of marriage. You know Sabi work talks about sex in marriage. If you never read Oil of Marriage, you'll be an apprentice. But if you read that, you go sabi walk. But if you never marry, no go near them. And then there is money is an idiot and the philosophy of the ant. There is a great difference between believing the scriptures and facing reality. The Bible says silver and gold belongs to God. But silver and gold is no longer a medium of exchange. The Bretton Woods institutions, particularly from the time of Richard Nixon, removed the medium of exchange from, the, from gold and put it in the dollar. And so you must know how to make dollars or make an equivalent of it to be rich. The Bible says the cattle on a thousand hills belong to God. How many cows do we own? They belong to Fulanis. And those cows constitute 6% of our GDP. And so there can be promises in the Bible that you shall be the head and not the tail. But there is a practical process of becoming head. It's not enough for the church to claim the promises. We must realize that becoming exceedingly great, becoming outstanding, becoming rich, becoming great, excelling in music, follows processes, practices, and principles. And I want to share with you some key principles that will help you to become outstanding. Nearly every person that spoke here, and most of those that are going to perform or have performed have followed this process, one way or the other. Number one, you must conceive who you want to become 
before you can deliver it. They were showing Easy. Easy said he started drumming at the age of four. The earlier you define your life, the better it is refined. Jesus said, don't you know I should be about my father's business? When his mates were returning back home, he stayed behind. It was only then that he grew and obtained favor from God and man. The average Nigerian Christian youth Several of them have no definition or conception of what they want to become. When I was coming to speak to them in Abia State University, this man was reading history and um, international relations or whatever. But he had defined where he was going to, the music industry. You cannot have help a man who does not know where he is going to. In Nigeria in those days, there was a law called the vagrancy law. When you see a man moving up and down, you stop him. Where are you going to? He said, I don't know. Where are you coming from? I don't know. The police had a right in those days. I don't know if they've repealed that law to detain you. Because you don't know what you want out of life, life can detain you. Young girl, you don't know the kind of husband you want to marry. Marriage can be de delayed in your life. From primary four, I knew I was going to be a medical doctor. Even, I was, even though I was living in a mud house. Most people who excel in life define what they want out of life. Mbappe, Mbappe very early in his life surrounded himself with the pictures of Ronaldo, surrounded himself with pictures of great footballers. Mbappe played in the same World Cup with his idols. Michael Phelps was winning gold medals in swimming. A young man called Jack Chad Duclos in Cape Town saw him at the age of eight. He said, I want to become like this man. He took all his videos and he found out that Michael Phelps swims eight hours every day. And he swam eight hours every day for 12 years. At the age of 20, he defeated Michael Phelps in the London Olympics. Anointing oil on a stupid head is just a stain. If you, met, if you motivate an idiot, it becomes more dangerous. If you fall under anointing without content, you will wake up the same. And if you keep falling with every guest preacher, I suspect that you have grand mal epilepsy. So, what have you conceived? It is only conception that will lead to delivery. You young girls today, all your dreams is to wear millipede eye. You wear millipede leg on your, on your eyes. Put long attachment without content. Breast, brazier nowadays has nipple. You have extra padding for your buttocks. Your concern is your coils, your curves, and then your color. But listen to me. You must have what is called content. And young men, the stupid song you sing today, uh, chop banana, cucumber, ikare cassava. Cassava does not sign check, mumu. In fact, when a man is too interested in sex, it's a sign of poverty. Because poor people like sex too much. Because their minds are idle. Am I talking to somebody here? What is your content? Waiting you carry. Even policeman, when he stop you, go ask you, waiting you carry. Abraham, God told Abraham, as far as your eyes can see, I will give to you. It is not a distance. Because Abraham's sight was limited. It is what Abraham can conceptualize in his mind and be ready to achieve. I went to Cape Town. No, it was Durban. I went to Durban and I entered an, Indian's, an Indian doctor's house. I was seeing my face in the tiles. Seeing my face. And the house I left to Cape Town, uh, uh, Durban to go and preach. The floor had the map of Africa, had different, different maps that's broken. 
When I saw my face on the tiles, I told myself, when I build my house, I will see my face on the tiles. Because of that conception, I bought the tiles for six years before I used them. Six years before I used them. A lot of the problem we have in Nigeria today is that the models we admire are people who have expired. The people you young men are ready to risk your life to carry ballot boxes for do not qualify to be prisoners in other countries. So, what picture? Destiny is a vector quantity. It has magnitude and direction. It has dimension, duration, and intensity. What kind of life do you want to live? At the age of 23, the love letters I was writing to my wife before I married her at the age of 26, the contents are still the same. I told her, this is the kind of life I want to live. And it is the life I am living. You see, this floor has been flawed. Satan has nowhere to plant. i give you an example. The way I want to, the kind of grandchildren I want to have, I programmed them even before I started marrying my wife. My son, the doctor, wants to marry a Kenyan. The girl's father is a professor. The girl's mother is a professor. When she speaks English, you can use her put to rub the English and swallow it. When she came visiting recently, I put Kenyan flag. Now, the girl's father professor, mother professor, me doctor, wife nurse, we balance. The, the engineer wants to marry a girl whose father, doctor, mother, principal, mathematician, younger brother, doctor, the next person, engineer, travels overseas. Tell me, where ancestral courses go past? <laughs> where? Tell me where. I have where? Where ancestral courses? <laughs> <laughs> you see, so don't let your erection give you direction. The womb that should carry your pregnancy must have the brain to carry your vision. If not, she will become a PLC. For a boy to chase you, ask that boy what is your dream for life. It's not holding his perineum, walking as if he's carrying a grenade here that makes him a man. Because marriage on its own is not an achievement, it's a responsibility. So what kind of life do you want to live? Now, I want to talk about content. Somebody told me, doctor, you're a mobile encyclopedia. It did not start today. It has stayed, it has stayed. Now, your content includes your knowledge. I was debating for the University of Ibadan as a medical student. I read Tolstoy. I read Roots. I read Dennis Whitley. I was reading the Jehovah Witness newspaper and magazines. I was reading secondhand Newsweek magazine, Time magazine. So today, when I speak and they pay me somebody's annual salary, it is the manifestation of the impregnation of my mind over the years with knowledge. When I had only two shoes, I, had, I was buying books, buying even secondhand books. Today, I asked a graduate of geography, where is Malaysia? She says, he said this, uh, I, I said, where is Kuala Lumpur? He says, in Togo. I asked him, is Malaysia an Asian country? He says, in America. And you read geography and regional planning. All this, your mumushos blocking you do in university will block your destiny. Because a time will come when a demand is placed on your certificate and your certificate cannot produce results. It will end up being an honorary receipt that you went to university. Content. How much do you know? How much do you know? Your content includes your skills. Your content includes your talent. Your content includes your endowment. Look at, she can switch from any kind of English. Portacourt English to clean, born again English. Are you following what I'm saying? So, she's able, she's able to switch that's a gifting. It's a skill. At the same, it, she learned it. She was not born with it. 
But her color is a gifting. Aki and purpose shortness is a gifting. So the problem with church people is because we like prayer too much. I prayed and I prayed and Jesus answered me. I prayed. And when you see a professor, when you see a professor praying as if his head is a concrete mixer. The problem with Africans is that they think that it is difficulty that moves the hand of God. You must not stay awake before God answers you. If not, go and join a security company. There is something in your hand that comes easily. Act on that thing. This brother that left here just now will make even a dead person laugh. And so people patronize him because he has developed that part. That area of comparative advantage, develop it. The problem with church and Africa, we want to imitate every person. We want to be like another person and in the process you destroy yourself. So what skills and what talent do you have? What skills and what talent do you have? If you develop them, we shall come to that. If you develop your content, your endowment, you will discover that something will happen. With your vision and the development, the Japanese call it Kaizen, always improving on yourself, you will discover that a time comes, you will be committed to that vision you had initially. See number one, conception. Without commitment, you can't do well in life. Haphazard living. If you live casually, you become a casualty. It is commitment that produces results. I brought Moody Africa for my conference on October 1st. Moody Africa went to government college with us. Moody Africa started as a side tailor. They signed him for six months, but he signed for another three months. Moody Africa comes to work 7 a.m. every day. By the time you are committed to your work, it determines your choices. Where you are going to will determine the husband you will marry. Will determine the wife you will marry. Will determine the things you will do. My house was not painted, but I was tiling my school. I was putting hotel toilets in the floor of my classrooms. My, I, I had 30 toilets in my school building. Because the Bible says, build your business first before you build your house. Today, my house is the only tired house in that street. I don't live there until the last student leaves. I was the first bus driver. I was the first gate man. I swept toilets. Don't be a director when you don't have direction yet. Manufacture yourself before you market your destiny. There's something called presentism in business. You must deliberately spend time in whatever you are doing. Before. Know your business before people will know you. Know your books before people will know you. Commitment. I went to do masters at the age of 56. Not in medicine. Because when companies invite me to come and speak, when they see MBBS Ibadan, they question what I'm... Today I lecture entrepreneurship in, a, in the Federal University of Petroleum Resources. I didn't study entrepreneurship. I went to do masters at the age of 56. And I found out that the social sciences were more difficult than medicine. Malaria is plasmodiasis. Now so it remained. The, the dentition, fixed number, two eyes, unless there's an aberration. But the social science is more difficult. They don't define something with one word or one sentence. And I was in political science class, and he led me into the trouble. They would say, her politics, according to Harold Laswell, is who gets what and when, 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 how much and when. According to David Easton, it's authoritative allocation of resources. And I don't have a good memory. So when I read it, I go and urinate. By the time I come back, I have forgotten it. And how can I disgrace myself in the presence of many witnesses? So I devised a formula. I will read that note six times, seven times, eight times, nine times. We had a test on microeconomics. I came to Rumo Biokani to speak. I left that night, got home by 10 o'clock, read till 2 o'clock, 
went to do the exams and scored 85%. There is a derivation from GDP that I was supposed to do. I called my math teacher. He taught me in the class. I went home, derived it. The night before the exam, I derived it. In the morning, I derived it. Exam, not the favor person. If you favor, you know be good exam. My wife started calling me Booker T. Washington. I knew those things like the road to my bedroom. This generation wants shortcuts to greatness. My helper, oh, my helper. Before you will tow a car, he has to remove the handbrake. Before you can push a car to start, the ignition has to be on, has to engage gear. So many people cannot be helped because they don't even know where they are going to. They are not engaged and they are not ready to move. Your problem is not money. Somebody was mistakenly paid $120,000. They squandered it. Today, himself and his wife are owing $170,000 after two years. Success has to have your name attached to it. She said it, that you must be ready to sleep short hours. Dangote does not sleep till 2 a.m. And he wakes up by 7, I mean, gets to his office by 7 a.m. You stay on your bed. You are changing gear after all night. You are trafficking. Poverty will kidnap you and handcuff you and throw you inside a boat. I called a Yoruba boy. By 4 a.m., he was still awake. And he's a, he's a, he's a, he works in Quest FM and t TV. 4 a.m., still awake. The poor love sleep. The poor likes food. The poor likes to do everything excess but contribute very little. If a poor man is putting toothpaste on a toothbrush, he will put it from the beginning to the end. When you have made choices, another C, you develop character. Somebody say character. Character will involve discipline, will involve consistency, will involve punctuality. I left my daughter. I left her. We are moving by two. We are moving. I don't do African man time. We are moving by two. I told her yesterday, I told her this morning, I told her one week before, I went to her office, I told her again, and told her a second time, we are moving by two. A pastor said he was coming too. I said, be in my office before two. By two o'clock, my daughter was not there. Two o'clock, pastor was not there. I entered the car, we moved. We moved. There's something called CPT, colored people's time even in America and in the UK. The king of Ashanti was to address an economic summit in, 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 in the UK where they were to display the investment opportunities of Ghana. The king of Ashanti booked that program for 10 o'clock. He came there by 4 o'clock. Everybody had gone. The stupidity of thinking that time will wait for you, that your case is different, will destroy you. And if you are 30 years here and you think you are young, you are stupid. Because if you are going to live to 90, you have spent one third of your life. And the remaining 60 years, if you sleep eight hours every day, eight over 24, one over three, use it to divide the remaining 90 years. 30 years has gone. I mean, uh, 60 years, 20 years has gone. And if you're a stupid girl here that watches Telemundo and Z World until your soup will burn for four hours, four over 24 is one over uh, six. Use it to divide the remaining, you will discover that as at 30 now, what you have left for productive living is not more than 25 years. If you like, continue wasting your life. If you like, leave here and go and play draft. You know, Sabi swim, and you won't swim. <laughs> if you are playing snooker and you are not yet retired, something is wrong with you. So the African waste time, Professor John Mbiti, an Anglican priest in the UK, and a Christian philosopher, he says the African has no proper value for time. And if you don't have value for time, you will not do well in life. The next thing is that when you develop character of frugality, diligence, patience, and then prudence, you start to form a brand. 
What is brand? Your brand is your reputation. It is the discussions that regularly follow your actions and your person. As a musician, they book you. You come late. I don't go late to any preaching engagement. I leave Benes Hotel by 4. I reach my office by 8, 8.30. I don't go late. Because I am coming from the, a well. Those I went to school with, we are already running on the surface. And I had to climb from the well and come to the surface through medical school. I need to run at a faster pace to match up. You come from a poor family like mine. You come from a family... Like, I am the only surviving child, and I don't have brother, I don't have sister. And you think I should waste my life and waste my time. I don't wait for people, I leave them. I was to go somewhere. Many people say, if you don't want to work, come out, make I pass. If you are not ready to move at my pace, I leave you. I'm not ready to be a typical Nigerian. I'm not ready to be a typical pastor. I don't sing choruses to wait for late commerce. The conference I did on, 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 on October 1st, 10 o'clock, I was standing. 10 o'clock, we started. Come late as a bishop, I won't give you a seat. You will sit anywhere you like. It's my money I spent. I'm not a member of your church. PFN expelled me. Me, I also expelled them. Don't look at me like that. Listen, you must develop. When you develop character, you now develop capacity. Somebody say capacity. Say it again. Today's men are not ready to marry the seas I said before. Coils, curves, color, and then your fake accent, asin. It started long time ago. When Isaac was to marry, the servant was sent, and the servant prayed, the woman I will tell, capacity is how much you can do. The woman I will tell to give me water to drink, and she will say, I will give your camels water to drink too. Is the woman I will marry. Isaac had camels. A camel drinks 30 gallons of water. Times four is 120 liters of water. Times 10 camels is 1,200 liters of water. Times acceleration due to gravity. Times the distance to the well. Plus the distance of the well, the bottom of the well. The well that Jesus drank water from in John chapter 4 was given to Jacob. Jacob gave it to, um, to, to, it was given to Joseph. Joseph was born in 1774 BC. When that well was excavated, it was 138 feet deep. So you must add 1,200 times 10 times the depth of the well. And if there is a slope, you will use the coefficient of... Nobody wants to marry a mumu. Young men don't carry beards on your head without something. This is a knowledgeable generation. It's a generation ruled by ideas. Companies pay me to speak because I don't go there to shout hallelujah, amen, amen. Total, I want to invite me here. I told them, I stay in sweet spirit. There's a sweet, I stay there. Is 89,600. So either you are ready to put me there or I am not coming. And I charged them. The woman said, but you are expensive. I said, I go better school. I go government college, really. I go FGC worry. I go UI. Education is not a scam. We are proving that when you know that you know. Now, what do you know? Now, make your mate money. Leave in pocket. Enter your own. I meet, I meet, I meet, I meet Oibo for Topina Airport for Bucharest. We had tattoo. They talk to me about God. He say, have you heard about evolution? Now I knock on my own. Have you heard about Lamarckism? You don't know Lamarckism. Have you heard about scientific, I mean, uh, dematerialization? He say, no. I can't knock on, knock on, knock on. Confusing your Igbo brain. He say, can I smoke a little bit? I say, go and smoke. He said, I'm not running away from you. I said, no. I said, my friend, take time. Your skin is whiter than my own, but my brain is whiter than your own. <laughs> your generation, all this xenophobia. Now, now you hear person when they sell drugs that they do xenophobia for. You think say, if two faced did they go put, uh, uh, Cape Town, go sing, they go stone now. Donald Trump, when he says, shithole, 
Not be a dashing on I holy hand. The African Development Bank man. They're not invited to the president, but they invite. <laughs> cultism, cultism will kill you prematurely. Food, you be mumu. <laughs> if you get power, where, 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 why you not fight Boko Haram for us? Now small, small children, where they, they go kill. Headsmen, they rape your mama, kill your mama. You say you be black as you be mumu, mumu. <laughs> go look for better thing too. The time when you go tell them you take and smoke it, but if God wanted you to smoke it, but if you put exhaust for back of that, your coconut head, you forget Morana exists. Use it. Okay, Dr. Pocky, Ibiakwa Lozo. Two things I will share with you. Number one, you need another C connection. Now, three way near three, now make monkey smart. Any human being you see is your potential helper. And when God introduces you as a lion, don't behave like a goat. Always see the person you are meeting that you need to impress that person to do well. I spoke somewhere. The person introduced me to Chidi Okorafo. I mean to Paul Emeka. Paul Emeka, I spoke. Chidi Okorafo saw me. From there, he took me to Togo. From there, I've been speaking in assemblies of God churches around the country, spoke in their men's convention. I'm going to speak in January meeting to 700 pastors. When you misbehave with the first contact you make, you have deprived yourself of a generational blessing. And we from the Niger Delta, una to get bad mouth. Somebody they talk, you go talk. Somebody they talk, you go, and you don't know, life not be Facebook. If you make your year comment for Facebook, no person go do you anything, but you make them for life. You might destroy your relationship with people. And you young girls from Potter Court and worry, una mouth be like typewriter. You talk too much, and it will disqualify you. I was with one great man in worry who we were discussing local government chairman. That man on his own can cause civil war. He's from Ijo, and you know the area I'm talking about. His younger brother to somebody who can cause civil war. We went with a lawyer, prominent lawyer, who knows who had the car he drove was 20-something million. But as we were discussing, he didn't open his mouth. And he left. Calm, cool. So any person you will meet holds your future. Then there are two types of connection. One, the connection of the person that we see a future. She said she saw mercy and said there is talent. If you dance in the presence of a blind man, you are sweating for nothing. If you sing in the presence of <laughs> you sing in the presence of a deaf person, you are wasting your time. If you go tell your mama when they buy okreka brazier, when you say, oh, okreka brazier, alas, alas. Say you won't buy new brazier, you know, go buy for you. It is somebody who has excelled and has talent and has value. Security men are more troublesome than the owner of the company. Because poverty is, has a mentality of, 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 of obstructionism. Poverty, they like to mount roadblock. So you need to meet people who can look at you and despite what is wrong with you, will point to what they can bring out of you. In a farm in South Africa, according to James Agri, in his story, stories of from Africa, the heart of an eagle. The man went to, went to a farm and saw a chicken. I mean, he saw chickens with an eagle. You see, when you are where you are not supposed to be, you malfunction. If you plant a coconut inside a bucket, it either destroys the bucket or it will kill itself. So the eagle was with chickens. And you know, the claws of an eagle is not designed for scratching ground. It was designed for catching opportunities. And the eagle was trying to speak chicken language. <laughs> It was, it, it, the eagle was born to scream. And the man said, this is an eagle. The farmer said, yes. I've trained it to be a chicken. Your papa feet trained you to be chicken. My mama nearly trained me to be chicken. When I go to FGC Worry, Ogbobina children, Jaja Wachuku, Pamela Briggs, and all the other ones here. He said, don't make friends with rich people's children. Now, disobey that law. I made friends with rich people's children. Because I left a mud house to FGC Worry. My father was riding bicycle. When I enter Abraham Jeffy, I think it's Garrison Clinic here. When I enter his car, he was driving Mercedes in school. 
When he closes the door, boom, I said, I'll go buy you. One day I'll go buy you. I bought it. He said, I've trained him to be an eagle. I mean a chicken. The man said, no. He still has the heart of an eagle. I don't know what has happened to you. You still have the heart of an eagle. And the man carried the eagle. He said, eagle, you are not born to be among chickens. Eagle, fly. The eagle shook, shook, jumped down to eat maize. There are some diets you don't get addicted to. There are some friends you must not make. If you live near a madman that is singing, Ungongo Jure Junamoto, Jure Junamoto, Ungongo. After 21 days, when you are washing clothes, you will do. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> when you want to help poor people, help them from a distance. Because according to Reverend Samson Bojo, poor people do not want to be like you. They don't want to be better than you, they want you to be like them. There's a boyfriend you are befriending that is chicken. Person they date you for seven years, he never marry you. You go go menopause before I marry you. <laughs> Customer when they buy something, you know the price tape. Are you a virgin? You mumu, you be virgin. There are friendships that must end this night. There are associations that must end this night. Now, where you they go, now you they listen to the Agbero. But stay with the driver instead of the Agbero. I don't, I don't relate even with my family members. They are not going the same direction. I'm not a typical Orobo man. I'm not a typical worry boy. Where they go far. I'm not yet celebrating. Carry the eagle. He said, eagle. Took, a, took the eagle to the roof. Eagle. You're not supposed to be among chickens. Fly. Eagle, shake, shake. Because the eagle was used to looking down to eat. It was taller than the other bed. So it was eating. You can be bigger than your neighbors, but you're still behaving like a chicken. You're an eagle. And, 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 and. They jump down again. Raise your head, baby. There's a glorious future waiting for you. Don't look down on your circumstances. Look away from them. And the eagle, the man said, I can still make him fly. May God bring somebody who will keep trying and trying until you succeed. May God bring somebody who will not suddenly lose hope on you because of one failure. May somebody not conclude your destiny because of your mistake. The eraser of God is bigger than the wiper of Mercedes Concord. It can still clean your sins away. The word mercy is has said. It means God will do with you as if what happened to you never happened to you. God is about to recreate you and create a new model out of you. Stand up and tell somebody, don't look at me like that. I am an eagle. I still have the heart of an eagle. And the man carried the eagle. Took the eagle out of the, the city of Johannesburg. Used the eagle to face a mountain. And the rays of the sun, early morning sun. The eagle has two membranes, two eyelids. There's a, an, an outer eyelid and an inner eyelid. When you are trying to shoot at an eagle, it flies towards the sun. The sun will blind you, but the other nictitating membrane will cover the eye and it will keep flying. When the stimulus of the sun rays hit the eye, the retina of the eagle, something triggered. Baby, you need to see where you are supposed to live. You need to see the kind of house you're supposed to stay. The woman, when they drive motors, put water for your body, fine pass you. Some of them were well, what person by far. See, try to be where you can see the picture of where you are supposed to be. The other person you are supposed to meet in your life, another contact. I will soon end. I have 38 seconds. The other person you are supposed to meet in your life is the person you were supposed to be. A man came to my office after listening to me on radio. He said he was in the gate at Abraka, and somebody drove past and saw him and called him. Polo, Polo, now hear you for end. He was a guy man, but he ended in the gate. So there was a lion 
small cub of lion, grew among sheep, stayed among sheep, and started behaving like sheep. One day, another lion came to the bank of the water on the other side and made, ooh! All the sheep started running. The lion also ran. It was the first to reach home. <laughs> that you are coming first in Borokri does not mean you are intelligent. <laughs> when I left government college to FGC, I saw brains. So, it ran home. Came back again. It was drinking water. And then he saw his face in the water. Then it ran. He saw for the first time how he really looked like. Most of you are answering the names people called you. You are following the descriptions of people. They said I was the ugliest child of my mother. But see me. See camera. My face, full potter cut. Go bini, he full bini. Go calabar, where are they? full calabar. All the fine, fine brothers, wait them. Then die, leave me. No, let me still be. Hilda, Hilda talks, say, well, what can be a, a talent. So, my mama say, I get big head. Say, I get head for front. I get head for back. Why not go be so? He contribute the front. My papa contribute the back. And I have a lot of gigabyte inside here. So, I know they get headache quick. <laughs> so, you see, in face, now he run. Most of you are too timid to venture to attempt to become who you are. There are people are singing. There are very few people singing rock music. Who tell you so? Who tell you so? People see they play rock music. I listen to rock music. ACDC, Ted Nugent, uh, Queen, Bad Company. Do -do 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 -do. You can bring it into Christendom. Play. Rap before. Who know rap before for Christendom? People don't they rap. The new generation will take it. Don't be afraid of yourself. Now, the next day, when he looked the lion, he looked the water, he looked him. He said, now me be that. When the lion tell him, oh, he won't shout, oh, he said, we. Because too used to being a sheep among sheep. Now he attempt him again, oh, if there is 1% chance of your success, try it 100 times and you will succeed. When you see who you are supposed to be, don't criticize. Don't envy. Don't say it's Juju. Tell him, how did you get here? God bless you.